Hey everyone, this is Ledbetter17P. Today we have a tech tutorial video for you guys. In today's tech tutorial video, we're going to show you guys how to install Windows 10 64-bit on VMware Workstation 12 Pro. Uh, we're going to show you how to create the virtual machine and then install Windows 10. Alright, so first off you want to open up your VMware Workstation 12 Pro, which as you can see, this is what will open up once you get it open. Uh, now there's multiple ways of creating your virtual machine. You can either go ahead and click on create new virtual machine right here or do it the old school way. Go file new virtual machine and basically this will bring up the new virtual machine wizard and in that wizard basically uh, it'll just step by step take you through setting it up. So you can either go custom or typical. Uh, for this uh, instance we're going to go with typical. Go ahead and click next now basically you want to choose install from uh, you're either going to be installing from a uh, disk an ISO file or you can just choose to install later basically if you have an ISO file on your desktop basically all you'd want to do is click browse and navigate to that ISO file and select it and click OK as you can see I have mine already selected so like for example browse there is the Windows file right there click open and there it is. It'll also tell you here what Windows is detected. It'll say Windows 10 64-bit detected. This operating system will use easy install. So go ahead and click Next. Now here's the part where if you have a product key for your Windows, go ahead and enter your product key. Uh, that way you can test a full copy. Uh, for this video, uh, we're just going to activate later. Uh, but you can also set up uh, what version that you're installing we're going to do be we're going to be doing Windows 10 home uh, full name we just got it set for the wrong name obviously Let's change it for Ledbetter 17p and we can add a password and stuff for this virtual machine if we wanted to once you have all this set up the way you want it go ahead and click next for me I'm getting a warning about the product key uh, basically just stating that I did not enter a product key. Windows will install without one and it says you must be uh, but must be manually activated later. Would you like to continue? I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Now it's going to ask you where to save your virtual machine. Go ahead and click next. It says the maximum disk size that you need is 60 gigs. Uh, leave that where it's at but you want to set the bottom one here to store virtual disk as a single file um, storing it as a single file is a lot easier to deal with in the long run yes splitting it into virtual into multiple files uh, does make it easier to move it around to, to from computer to computer but at the same time if you're just keeping it on one computer and it's not going to be transferred go ahead and just uh, make it a single file and go ahead and click next and it'll basically show you all your settings you can review all your settings and go ahead and click finish once it's done doing that uh, or once you click finish it will go ahead and create the disk and once it's done doing that the virtual machine will automatically start up and run so we're gonna go ahead and pause the uh, uh, recording real quick and just let it create the virtual disk and once it starts the install I will uh, be back with you guys alright as you can see the create disk is almost done there it is it is done there is your virtual machine and it will automatically start up as you can see uh, it's gonna ask about removable devices such as anything USB that you have plugged in such as webcams printers and so forth just go ahead and click OK uh, and it is doing the easy install version so we'll just close out that and as you can see it is loading up your Windows 10 install uh, this will take a few minutes now keep that in mind it is a lot slower installing in a virtual drive like this than it is to actually install it on your computer but this is a good way to actually go ahead and install it and run it within your existing copy of Windows that way you can actually test out a copy of Windows uh, as you see it says setup is starting and this will take a couple minutes and it'll pop over to the next flash uh, splash screen where it will start copying files 
So uh, you can actually get a uh, copy of this Windows 10. Uh, I will put the link in the description below for the uh, where I got mine from Microsoft. Uh, you can either download the ISO image or you can get the uh, USB bootable copy, which I also have a copy of that. That's how I installed it on my computer. Uh, since I am running uh, the same exact copy of Windows 10 that I am showing you guys here. All right, here we go. Here's the installing Windows uh, screen. And basically, it's going to copy the new files. This will take a little while. Uh, this part... Uh, oh, okay, there we go. The copy of files is 100%. Now it's the getting files ready for installation. This is the part that does take a little bit of time. Uh, this will probably take a half hour or so uh, in the virtual drive. Uh, so just go ahead and just let that sit and do its thing. And we are going to pause the video. And when it is almost done, we will come back and finish up this installation for you guys. All right, now that you see it's at 100%, It'll, it'll skip to the next one and go to installing features and then it'll do installing updates which it is working on now and it will finish up the install and then do a reboot and then reinstall the uh, not reinstall but actually finish the installation of Windows 10 uh, super simple uh, there we go installing updates is done and now it'll do finishing up. And let's see if we can catch the uh, reboot of the virtual drive here on video for you guys. All right, there we go. It says Windows needs to restart to continue. Restarting, and it'll give a countdown. Or you can just click restart now. I just usually let it do its countdown. There it goes. There we go. It's doing a simple reboot. And as you can see, it shows the Windows logo once again. And you get your little spinny dots at the bottom. Uh, now this is where it'll also take a little bit more time as well. Uh, it may do another reboot. Uh, it may not, uh, depending on your system. So you want to go ahead and just let this do its thing and uh, it'll finish the installation for you. So we will uh, go ahead and pause the video real quick once again and let this um, basically load up and once it gets to the next screen I will uh, resume recording and uh, show you where we're at. Alrighty, now once it's past that part you'll get the little black screen that says hi and it will start loading up all your other little flash screens and say welcome as you can see this is Ledbetter 17p welcome and you're pretty much got your Windows 10 installed uh, from there um, now if you went through and did this installation like I did without entering a product key you're gonna wanna go in and actually enter in a product key and then in uh, to activate your Windows that way you do have a activated copy of Windows. Uh, other than that, you're pretty much set to go. Let's see. Uh, this should pop into Windows here pretty quickly. There we go. There's your black screen that says hi. Now it's going to say we're setting things up for you. So basically what it's doing is just finalizing all your settings. It's going to go through all these little colorful screens. Uh, this will take a few minutes as well. Uh, I noticed with the virtual machine, it does take a little longer than usual. And it will say something about it taking longer than it, sh than it usually does uh, during the setup. It's basically setting up all your apps, like your weather app and Cortana and a whole bunch of other stuff. Because Windows 10... It does have Cortana, just don't ask Cortana to Google something because you will break Cortana. Um, I actually broke Cortana one day by asking Cortana to Google something because Cortana likes to use Bing for some reason. Which is unfortunate because I use Google for everything. 
But um, yeah, you want to let it go through and finish setting up your apps, and then it'll basically bring you right to your desktop in Windows 10. So we're going to go ahead and let this finish, and we will resume once we are at desktop. Alrighty, now that it's done doing all that, it says let's start. And basically, this is where we are at right here. Uh, it is installing the VMware tools. Uh, basically, this is part of the Windows installation, or for the Windows installation on VMware Workstation. Uh, it's going to add the VMware tools to this installation. Uh, then it will reboot, and then uh, pretty much load you right into your Windows. So we will let this thing reboot. As you can see, it is restarting right at the moment. This should only take a minute or two. Alright, once it does its restart, as you can see, we are now in the Windows 10 uh, start screen. Pretty basic, as you can tell. I'll go ahead and click that little start menu here. Once it loads, it may take a minute for it to load. There we go. This is the new start menu for Windows 10, so we're going to go ahead and uh, actually exit out of that. We want to go Control Panel, so that means you want to right click. As you can see, it's still loading up the, the copy of Windows, all the little features along the taskbar, but we want to right click Control Panel. Go ahead and click out of that. Alright. Actually, I went backwards about doing this, so let's go ahead and close that control panel. Uh, let's get back down to the start button here. With Windows 10, uh, Windows 8 and Windows 10, uh, you did have that feature, or I should say 8.1 in Windows 10, you did have that feature of being able to right-click on the actual start button or the little Windows button that was down there and get an extra menu. So we're going to go ahead and get that menu open. Go to System, just like so. And we'll show you that we are running a copy of Windows 10. Once that does decide to open. There we go. As you can see, Windows 10 Home. As you can see right there at the top. A little bit of information about the... Uh, virtual machine, the system that it is running on, and so forth. Uh, now, this is where you want to go if to activate your Windows. Uh, if you did install like I did without a product key, you can then in turn install your product key this way. Just go over to Activate Windows, enter your product key, click OK, and you are good to go. So that is pretty much it for this uh, how-to uh, video on how to install Windows 10 on a virtual machine such as VMware Workstation. Uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and click that like button down below. Leave a comment in the comment section with any questions or concerns, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, don't forget to check out leadbetter17p.net for downloads, game uh, videos, tech videos, and vape reviews. Uh, that's pretty much it there. And don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe. So until next time, this is Leadbetter17P. Thanks for watching.